finding equivalence point for a monoprotic acid. So in this problem it says using the titration curve shown which letter represents the equivalent point. So we have five choices. We know that the equivalence point is going to be at the point at which the titration curve is the steepest. So when I look at this, the steepest point, the steepest part of the curve happens in this range right here. So the equivalence point is going to happen in a section C. So C is best represents the equivalence point because it's at the steepest part of the of the titration curve and that indicates that most of the acid or base has been neutralized and this has been completely neutralized and this is going to be the point here C. Now the second part says given that phenolthylene is an indicator with a pH transition range of 8.3 to 10.0 would using it to be a good would using it be a good method in determining the endpoint of the titration. So because the range is from 8.3 to 10, we know that when it gets to this point, it's getting close to the equivalence point. So yes, it would be a good indicator for this titration because it would indicate when all of the when all of the acids and base have completed a neutralization reaction.